A very good afternoon from wherever part of Africa you are watching us from. Welcome to <coughs> Safari Soccer. I'm your host, Yvonne Eta. Today I'm hosting AFCON quarter finalist from Uganda. Please introduce yourself and kindly take us through your football journey. Hello. Yeah, well, thank you, Yvonne. Um, um, my name is Ochaya Joseph. I come from Uganda. Yeah. Hello. I, yeah. Well, uh, thank you, Yvonne, for giving me this chance okay. or opportunity. And um, my name is Ochaya Joseph Benson mm -hmm. from Uganda yeah. and from East Africa yeah. at large. Yeah. You know, we are brothers and sisters yeah. in the same uh, uh, continent or uh, area, in mm -hmm. fact. Uh, so um, I, I I stay in Uganda. I I studied uh, in Kampala. Mm -hmm. uh, everything that um, comes into my football, I got it from Kampala mm -hmm. in Uganda. So probably I'm thankful to the Almighty God that He made me uh, become somebody in my own country. Yeah. You know, and in East Africa, you know. You know, it is not easy to uphold uh, the flag of East Africa and Uganda at large. Mm -hmm. But I'm thankful to the Almighty God that uh, I managed at least to be known in Africa and in some part of Europe and yeah. everywhere in yeah. Asia. So probably I started my, uh, my football career in, uh, actually in KCC, but I started from school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, immediately from school, um, you know, I... I I like I like coach coach Sam Simba so yeah. very much because he's the one who saw the talent into me and introduced me in the Ugandan football. Yeah. I think everyone knows if I talk about coach Sam Simba, uh, who who used to coach Sofa Paka. He's a very intelligent coach. He's very aggressive. He knows what he wants. So probably he, he instilled the same uh, the same efforts and the zeal into me that's why i i take him as my mentor and the coach they, uh, perhaps um he made me to become who i am so probably he's the one who got me from school because yeah. after seeing my talent he saw that maybe i can help uh the team where uh, by then it was kcca i was from school mm -hmm. so he got me when i was from school so he brought me um in kcc by then it was you know uh, for experienced players, good players. By then, I was very young. So I used to come at school, pick me from school, put me in the team, you know, for me to see how they play and how, you know, they wanted me to be playing. Probably that's when I became uh, solid in his team. Uh, I was in the final years of my education yeah. by then. So probably after my final years, I, I started uh, playing football. Mm -hmm. From uh, after my higher uh, secondary level, I could not add any more to uh, to for studies for the universities because mm -hmm. you know you cannot com uh, put together football and studies too much if you really want football, you yeah. know because football needs ample time, mm -hmm. so as to studies. So probably me after getting the knowledge which is needed in the society and some English, you know, which will make me to you know, communicate to people and the discipline because it is most, it is the most important thing. You have to be with the discipline in sure. order to succeed in everything. So probably after getting the discipline, which was needed from school and the school where I used to, where I finished my studies, they used to be so strict, you know, it is one of the biggest schools uh, in Uganda. Uh, it is called Buddha SS. Mm -hmm. I congratulate the Eddie master because he took me, I didn't have the money to pay mm -hmm. because I am from the humble background uh, family, yeah. but probably he took me as because of my talent. Mm -hmm. I, I studied with the scholarship, you know, from the scholarship. So probably I salute uh, my, uh, my former school, Buddha SS and the, and, the, and, and the director of the school, mm -hmm. because he knew, he's, the, he's one of the, uh, the, the people who paved way for my career because I didn't know that I'm going to be like this, but I had the other heart, which tells me that you're going to be somebody in East Africa. 
becoming mm. in Uganda at large. So probably I didn't want to throw out that dream. So from there, um, I started playing football. I played for one full year, one full season in Uganda in mm. Kampala City Council. From there, I went to Vietnam for a year. So in Vietnam, you know, their football, I'm not undermining their football, but it was not suitable for me because it was like more of a casual football. Okay. So I said, no, I, I want a competitive game because to become somebody, you have to pass through fire. Yeah. So probably in Africa, if you play in Africa and somebody knows you, you have to pass through so many things so to play in a very competitive in African leagues, most of the African leagues, they are so competitive. Yeah. So, and to become somebody, to, for people to know you that, hey, this guy knows football, you yeah. know, it means you have done it all, you know. So probably, and in, in, if you play in Asia, it is very hard for the national team coach to call you because they think football there is not good. Though it is a bit, it's also a good football and a competitive football. Okay. But it will not work in Africa, you know? So probably that's the reason I said no. I told my friends, I tell them, you know what? Mm -hmm. Me, I'm going back to hustle in Africa. Though the money is here, okay. but sometimes you don't have to follow money because if you want something to happen into your life, you don't have to follow money. So me, I wanted to become, uh, okay, I don't want to be a celebrity. Okay. I don't want to be a star, okay. you know? Yeah. <laughs> but I want to be important in my country and in Africa. Okay. So probably I'm important, though mm -hmm. some people may think I'm not a celebrity or I'm not a, a superstar, okay. as some people are. But I'm important, by the way, in Africa and you in are. African football. Yeah. Yeah, so probably it, is, it, it, was, it was my dream. I wanted okay. to be important. For people to think, hey, in Uganda, there's one player who is so, 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 so aggressive. He knows what he knows. He knows what he does. In, in on the pitch so okay. probably it was enough for me you know and from there it was very easy for me to shift and go for the national team because probably if you play at the national team mm -hmm. you have to be um playing in in in, in a competitive league you know mm -hmm. play champions league you play confederation league you play in a bigger team sometimes to call you for the national team so probably i saw that i think um I came back to Uganda in Kampala City Council. From Kampala City Council, mm -hmm. I played. After there, then one big team in Asante Kotoko in Ghana, mm -hmm. which is called Asante Kotoko. I think you know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. I went there and rocked it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went there and I represented the East African uh, uh, players and in, the Ugandan players who think that in West Africa, mm -hmm. East Africans cannot go there and mm -hmm. do wonders. So mm -hmm. I went there and I made I made it because, first of all, me, my, my main emphasis into football, me, I, I believe that God brought me into football journey or football life to become the head, not the tail. Uh, you, you get my point. Where yeah. I go, I need to lead. You see? Yeah. So if I don't lead, I just, I just humbly get out of that place because I think that is not my place. Okay. So probably I'm so honest to, yeah, I know people are so good. People, I, there are some other people who are better than me, but into me, I know that I'm also bet, uh, I'm also better than everyone. You see, that's why uh, <clears throat> I call myself, I'm so important that no one can challenge me. You see, because okay. I like competition so much. You see, so I went into Ghana we were somehow 60. In my position, we were up, up to six players, you know, mm -hmm. because I knew that if I go into West Africa and I conquer, mm -hmm. I will be known, you know, yeah, I mm -hmm. will be known and I will be important mm -hmm. yeah. in the society of Ghana and, you know, in the West Africa and in also East Africa. Yeah. So I made sure that collected them and, you know, even you go to Ghana, you know, they know me in the whole of maybe East Africa they know only one person, it is me, you, you get my point. So probably those are the only things I wanted in my life. So from there, I came back to KCCA yeah. because I was supposed to go to German and you know, there was misunderstandings. So I said, no, let me go back to Uganda. I went yeah. back to Uganda. Okay. Still, uh, because you know, they wanted me to go back in Ghana. I did not finish the contract, but because for them, they also did not follow my contract rules okay so i decided to mm -hmm. stay yeah i came back i came back to my country i rested for six months mm -hmm. because uh 
uh, FIFA had uh, said, okay, I should rest for six months, uh, for one year, because mm -hmm. they reported me because they say I, I did not finish up my contract. But I said, okay, okay. because me, I don't have a representative in CAF. I'm still mm -hmm. young. I'll rest for that year. No okay. problem. So yeah. while I was resting for six months, Kampala City Council uh, <coughs> chairman came out. He said, why are you not playing? I told him, no, I'm banned for one year because of this and this. But I am the truth. But I don't have a representative. They, th they told me, no, we are going to fight for you. They got uh, a lawyer from Zurich. They followed out my case. I was the one uh, who was the correct person, you know. So probably they were supposed to pay me, but I tell them, no, it is football life. I've, I'm not injured. Leave them stay. Let me just continue and play for, for the six months. I signed for KCC. Okay. You know, I started from there again. I remember it was in 2015, 215, 216. I became even the MVP. From there, I got so many deals. I went to Zambia. So when I was going to Zambia, people were saying, no, my talent is going to die from there. I'm not supposed to go there. As okay. if they are the one who dictate my moves. <laughs> or there is the team. There is a team where they've put me that, ah, you know what? Ah, this is the team where you're supposed to go. But it is a procedure, you know? So probably me, I followed my heart. And probably me, I follow my heart and the offer. If the offer is good, well, because I know what I can deliver for the team. So I went to... Um, to Zambia. No one knew the League of Zambia. I went there because the only people who were there, they were the Kenyan. Okay. Uh, Jesse Were and Owino, those, mm -hmm. they were the one rocking up there. Okay. So I said, no, I have to go and become also one of them because in Kenya, if we have, if you know, in, Af in East Africa, so we've got some people in Kenya who are there rocking up. So if mm -hmm. I also go, go and join and also become one and then we conquer the uh, the the the, uh, the the Zambian league, probably. Uh, thank God I went to Lusaka Dynamos, mm -hmm. and God helped me. Uh, I, I I I delivered well in Zambia. Everyone was so appreciative because our team was uh, so big. But again, it had got the, the the professional players, you know. So probably it wasn't easy for me to you know to maneuver. But uh, the fans, I brought the fan base in the Osaka Dynamos because they wanted to see what I really can offer for the team. Being that I'm the most high, uh, high paid, like highly paid yeah. in the Zambian Super League. So they think, who is this guy? Mm -hmm. What kind of football? Is he playing like a Superman? But yeah. Yeah, it is not like that. I have two legs and two uh, uh, hands, you know. I do the same things, but probably I put some spices for them to, you know, become more happier so uh i went there and i i made it through that's when um the uh, the, the congolese uh, giants mm -hmm. the tp mazembe yeah. came and you know they said no we want this guy to come and you know help us uplift the team because of his talent we are going to maybe if we are together with him mm -hmm. we are going to make our team more stronger so i gave them uh, the offers which i want they said, okay, no problem. We can go by it. Then I said, now where I'm going, it is more fire. So mm -hmm. I need to become more, really, more solid, you know. Probably um, that's the journey, you know, of my football career, you know. So maybe I, I had forgotten. I'd forgotten about my family. Uh, uh, I've got, uh, uh, we are six in the family. I'm okay. the firstborn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the firstborn, uh -huh. and my father and my mother, they're still alive. Uh, uh -huh. My father is called uh, Joseph, uh, Olara Benson, and my okay. mother is called uh, Joyce Abalo. Uh -huh. So my siblings, we are uh, three boys and mm -hmm. three girls. Okay. So that is the, the family status. You have a yeah. really great football journey. Now, just to take you back to your time at Vietnam, you went there, mm. played for one year, is there, and then left. Yeah. Uh, you told me the yeah. league wasn't so good. Is there anything else apart from just the league was <clears throat> below your standard and you wanted to, to represent your country in a, in a more organized league than Vietnam? Uh, Vietnam league is very good and it okay. is very competitive. But the okay. problem is that yeah. it is mm -hmm. not like seen in the whole world. Yeah. It is seen only in Vietnam, not even in Thailand. Okay. the neighboring country, or Cambodia. Yeah. You see how difficult 
it is to be known. Maybe if a journalist, maybe from Uganda, he, he comes and, and he gets a clip, you know, or maybe I send my clip to a journalist. They don't watch. They don't know how I play or how I reside. You know, the type of training they train is mm -hmm. not a hard way. So probably I saw all those. I said, no, me, I'm born to be a fighter. So mm -hmm. I need to fight to get what I want. You know, to okay. become what you want, you need to fight. So probably that's the reason as why I left. But probably the league in Vietnam, it is so competitive okay. in that if it was broadcasted in the, uh, in the super sport, it mm -hmm. would have been one of the best maybe, I think. But because they think they have all the money and they can do it by their own way, yeah. you see, that's the problem. Yeah. And, and, and then what happened between you, Asante Kotoko and, and the club you had signed for? What, what, what led to the disagreement? Hmm. Yeah, um, it is something, by the way, not, uh, it is something very easy. You know, it is, it is the trust in between okay. us. If, mm -hmm. you don't, if, you, if I don't trust the team. Yeah it will not be easy for me. If all the team doesn't trust my, that's the reason as well we signed the contract. Mm -hmm. So we signed the contract with the club uh, that if there is any team which needs me, yeah. I'm free to go, okay. you see? Yeah. I'm free to go without anything. So probably for them, because uh, the fans, you know, the other, you know teams of the fans, they are very difficult teams. So because I played for only, for two, two seasons, Okay. I signed for three seasons. I played for two seasons and a yeah. half. Okay. So the other half I was supposed to go to, uh, I was supposed to go to uh, Greta Fate in German. Okay. So the team in German negotiated mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. with the president, the current president, uh, by then, the then okay. president who was there on, uh, like the chairman of the team. Mm -hmm. So because of the pressure from the fans, they say, no, you've been selling the players and we don't, the club doesn't get the money, you mm -hmm. see? Mm -hmm. So if you, if you sell this player, it will be another war. We will not allow you to sell this player. But probably my contract shows that if I get a team of my choice, yeah, or free. if the team, yeah, because we negotiated with the team, I stayed with the team in German. I even started going with the team to its match, mm -hmm. matches, you know. I saw the match between them and, 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 and Bayern Munich, uh, you know, with Hamburg. Uh, uh, I saw all, like, four, four games because they had put me in the family, you know. I was even training with them, everything. That's the reason why, by the way, I, I felt like hating now uh, Europe, you know. Because of one thing, you know, you sign a contract in Africa and the Africans, you know, they don't want to release a player. So if you go in Europe and for them, they are straightforward. So probably reaching there, I saw my offer. My offer was good. So I told mm -hmm. the president, you know what, my offer, I'm pleased with it. Mm -hmm. So you guys negotiate and make sure that you finish up. He said, no problem. So after the supporters knowing that, oh, this guy, is going, blah, blah, the news was coming out. I'm not mm. in the country, in Ghana. Mm. They, they, they said I went, I, 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 I went in German. They are not seeing me. So they said, hey, president, try to resign. If you don't resign and this guy goes, mm -hmm. you will make, uh, you will be with the problem. So for them, they selected their own president whom they wanted to come to, on to, onto the team as a president. Mm -hmm. So this one resigned. He said to me, Joseph, you know what? I'm not going to die because of the team. Let me okay. resign. So mm -hmm. let me pray that this new president is going to help you up. I said, please, first finalize. I, I begged him. I said, boss, please, first finalize my deal. Then you resign. He says, no. If I finalize, it will mm -hmm. be bad. Let this guy who comes to finalize mm -hmm. it. So okay. this guy, he, on coming, because he, he wanted to become the president of the team for long, so in coming, so then it, because they had even uh, received their own contract, you see. So after receiving their own contract, so he called the club there in, in, in German, told them that, you know what, this contract, no, we have changed. Now we want such and such amount. It was too much even. You cannot buy Cristiano Ronaldo <laughs> by then, who was the best player. So me, who is from just Africa, you call me, you, you ask you, such money. Yeah. These people, they were saying, look at this team now, the team president. I don't know, because with this money, 
is writing for us to buy this player mm -hmm. is worth it than Cristiano Ronaldo or Rooney. Why in Rooney by hand? So probably say, why are we doing this? Maybe they don't want to sell because they've spent, we've spent on almost two months. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are meandering around. They are not telling us the truth. Now in the final stages, we have failed to buy a new player just because we think the player is already ours. Now they are doing this. So I, go, I became annoyed. I told them, you know what? Give me the ticket which takes me to Uganda, not in Ghana. Okay. They said, are you sure you want to go not to Ghana? I said, please, I want to go to Uganda, not in Ghana. Mm. Now mine with Ghana team is finished. Okay. I, I booked from German. I went back to Uganda immediately because I didn't know that. Because what they did was not okay. They did not follow my contract. Uh, I did for them everything they wanted. And for them, they did not honor my contract. So that's when I, I became annoyed. And for them, they started now reporting, saying that, ah, I absconded from training and mm. they had me in German. Now they're hearing me in Uganda, you know. <laughs> so I told them, yes, I'm in Uganda. I'm not coming back to Ghana yeah. because of this and this. If you want, ban me. And I know FIFA cannot ban me for almost 10 years, you know. If they want, okay, they can do that. But me, I know the truth. I will not report the team because I'm, uh, uh, I'm on the truth side. Okay. But, but I will stay. I will take anything they want me to. By then, I didn't have the agent to defend mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. because the agent who was, who was by then my agent, he told me not to go. I said, me, I'm going. So we did not, co we, we separated, you know. Okay. We could not, yeah, we could not. So we, we, we became parallel. We could not connect. So I said, now no one I should remo uh, re report to. It was my own decision. So anything which comes, I will face it like me. So I okay. had, they gave me, uh, they said, okay, one year, because I did not respond, because they called me to defend myself. I said, I will not defend myself. They know the truth. If, if they can decide, I, t I said, FIFA you, can uh, FIFA, you can decide on what you want. Me, mm -hmm. I don't have anything to tell you guys, because they know the truth. You see, my contract is here. That's mm -hmm. the only thing I can present. I can mm -hmm. present my contract to you, if, but the because for them, they are a team and a big team and they have money. They don't want to, you know, because the fans were putting pressure. Now, where's the player? You say, they blah, that's, that's it. So they reported me. So eventually, God sent KCC manager. He said, no, we will not allow this. So they fought for me and I won the case. They were supposed to give me money. But I said, no, I'm not uh, broken. Uh, my legs are not broken <laughs> and I'm still strong, okay. you know. I'm still young to fight. So let them stay with the money. Me, I will strive and get other money. So okay, that's after, when I started. After all the scandal, you were given a, you, FIFA gave you a one-year ban, but then you later, you later came back to football and you were just on form. What, what were you doing? Mm. What, what's the right thing that you were doing during your ban? No, you know, if you're a footballer, even if you like, it is like, it is like um, locking you up into your house. Yeah. You know? So probably if they don't take you to the prison mm -hmm. and they lock you into your house, it is very easy to find out the way on how, you know, you can maneuver with life, you know? Probably you cannot stay, uh, you stay hungry for a full day, even yeah. if you don't know where you're going to get money, you know? But when you, are, when you are in your custody, I think you, can, you know how to find out and you make sure that you get the money. So me, probably, I was locked, uh, I was banned in my country, you know, at my home, they did not take me to prison. Yeah. So I knew what to do. I said, no, okay, let me be training my own personal training because I know what, what to do, you know, to make sure that I'm up, up there. Okay. So the only thing which I was lacking Within because staying for uh, six months without playing, it, mm -hmm. it was much fitness. But mm -hmm. for the fitness, okay. generally, uh, I had all the gas to do everything. It was only like two or three matches for mm -hmm. me to come back to my normality. So probably I was doing my training and becoming more hungry, you know, because I wanted to prove people, some people were saying they had written me out of the books. You know, they think uh, that one now is gone. It will never come back with the frustration, yeah. you know. And is, it seems like he doesn't want to play football anymore. They didn't know that I had my problems. I could not play. Some teams wanted me, yeah. but 
I told them, you know what, I cannot, I, even if I want, I cannot because I need to honor what the law tells me. So eventually, KCC told me, okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. You'll be training with the team, you know, with us together while we are fighting. If it fails, then we'll wait. Okay. No problem. So probably that's the reason that's why I like Kampala City Council so much because it is my mother team. Mm -hmm. You know, it uplifts me when I'm in, in the sorrows, when I need you know, some comfort, it is the team which gets me up and it says, you know what, you know what to do, come to, uh, to the drawing board and mm -hmm. we do it again. So probably that's the reason as to why whenever I go, I need at least, if I go out of the country, I need at least the club where I go, they should give something to the team because, man, it has done everything for me. And while I also do some wonders for the team, you know. Okay, talking of you, uh a lot of a lot of teams wanted you your move to lusaka dynamos was one of the expensive moves in zambia mm. even though you did not mm. complete your contract what happened until sa no i completed my contract in zambia oh yeah i completed it so it was it, it was over then it that's when because uh, so many teams when i was in zambia within my first year period they mm -hmm. wanted me offering a lot of money to take me, you see. But the president of the team said, no, I want you to stay. I don't want any amount. Even if they give me $4 million, I will not take it. I just want you as a player. You okay, know? And, so probably and I said, okay. Mm. Before you went to Lusaka Dynamos, there were rumors that you were going to join Gormahia. What happened? Why didn't you sign for God? Uh, you know, I was going to sign. You know, when you're a player, you have to offer the uh, to to like uh, way uh, scale way uh, to put the offer onto the weighing scale. Mm. So I saw the offer. That's that's the reason that's why the Lusaka Dynamos um, uh, offer. Yeah. Uh, it beat even the the bid vest because I was supposed to go also to bid vest too. Oh. You get, I, I went there for, yeah, I went there for like, uh, I was supposed to, uh, to stay there for a two weeks trial. Okay. Me, I don't do, I don't, I don't do trials in Africa, okay. but I, I, <laughs> I strip, yeah, I strip my, my, yeah, I strip solo to went to that trial in okay. Africa, you know, in bid vest. Okay. But I went there for four days like this. Mm -hmm. So the club said, you know what, ah. So we need you, we need you, um, because what, what you, you can offer, we know, you know. They, they had to see me for four days. Okay. So I said, okay, now you can negotiate. So the negotiation wasn't so pleasant, though uh, I wanted, to, because the, the Goma here negotiation, it was not so, so good, you know. Uh, so I decided no to uh, to opt uh, to opt for the bid vest one. So when I went uh, when I was like now thinking to go to bid vest, while KCC was telling me no, you're mm. a big player, you cannot go for that amount. It's very okay. small. At okay. least we'll give you from here. So I said okay, if you can give me this money, I will stay. You know, if you cannot, when I was just there. They, they were just comforting me, telling me, you know what, you'll get a better deal, no problem. Just be like, finish up this six months, okay. at least after the season, the deals will come. When they were still talking, when I was still talking with the manager by then uh, of the team, uh, the chairman of the team, then the Lusaka Dynamos deal came, mm -hmm. boom, with a lot of money. So I said, okay. are these people uh, like playing around with me or they are serious. Uh -huh. So probably they sent me the air ticket for me to go and negotiate the deal. The deal was not bad. So I decided mm -hmm. by then we were even at, still at the Champions League. I went with the chairman of the team. Mm -hmm. They also de negotiated their own share as KCC. Okay. They gave them their own share. I also got my own share. So I decided to stay in Lusaka. Zambia. When I was going there, people were criticizing, saying, why did he did not go to South Africa? That is where his football suits. But it is not where my pocket suits. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so okay. I followed where my pocket suits. <laughs> so probably that's the reason as why I did not go to Goma, Goma here or uh, uh, bid vest. So I decided to go to Zambia. But uh, I really wanted to come to uh, go because uh it is um it we are like in the same league yeah, you know? yeah 
yeah. it is a big team also in Africa, Gromaia, and it has got all the, you know, all the fans, you know, me, I, I like to play in the team where the fans are, you know, because I like the pressure team, um, uh, because the pressure team teaches you how to manage uh, your lifestyle, you know, your lifestyle, that's it. So probably uh, it was one of the team also I was willing to go to, though it is very hard for me to go to East Africa, you know, I don't like East African teams because it is like, I mean, I'm still home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Okay, and then you, you, yeah. later, you later went to uh, Tipi Mazembe. How is life in Congo? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, generally, uh, you know, w anyway, even if you, you go to America, people are saying America or London is very nice. Okay. But if you go there the first days, it will treat you bad because you're not used with the people, the atmosphere, everything, okay. you know. But probably when, when you're a fighter or a football player, you need to adapt in every situation. Mostly the language, you need to go back because for them, they speak French and and their Swahili is not like our Swahili. So probably those are other things, other factors. The weather, their weather is somehow different from ours. You know, their training uh, facilities, you know, the, 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 the ground for them, they, they often use carpet, you know. They are astroturf only, you know. So probably that's another challenge also because from coming from the grass mm -hmm. uh, pitch, the grass pitch, pitch, then you go to the carpet pitches. Okay. So it is another thing also which hinders you, yeah. So, but, uh, you know, if you're a football player, you need to know that anything, even if they put you on tones, you have to maneuver, go with the tones. Okay, and now you are contract with, you, your contract with the TP Mazembe, is over so where next because you have been to ghana zambia and now congo are mm. you planning to go to north africa north africa then i finish the what the, the circle <laughs> yeah then you, you finish know? the circle <laughs> <laughs> because i started from east africa yeah. i went to west africa yeah. i went to south africa which is zambia I went to uh, Central Africa, now remaining North Africa. So yeah, you want North me to Africa. go to North Africa yeah. to kill it? <laughs> yeah, go oh, and kill no it. Problem. Anytime. <laughs> Anytime. So I become another, I make another record because no one has ever done that, you know. Yeah, I've yeah. never had anyone who has, who has ever played in all those uh, parts. Yeah. You know, I've never had, if a person has played from West Africa mm -hmm. and East Africa and South Africa, then North Africa, he has, he has not. Yeah. If he has played from North Africa, South Africa, maybe Central is yeah, another problem, yeah. you know, probably. But me, it is only North Africa remaining yeah. for me to, uh, now to make a record because I've not seen someone doing that. Okay. Though it is not followed, uh -huh. but me, probably... Uh, if maybe the chance comes, okay. yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> but probably, yeah. So probably um, um, me, I'm, I'm just waiting for the God is calling where he wants me to go and preach the gospel of football. It is where I go. So if he wants me to stay in Congo again, okay. then why not? I will still, because maybe if he wants me to stay in Congo, maybe there are some, some demons which are not turned into Christianity, yeah. which I okay. need to turn, probably, yeah. <laughs> so I need to still spread the gospel, you know, in Congo. Yeah. But if uh, God tells me that, you know what, go to North Africa, yeah. then why not? I'll go there and spread the, uh, the football, the football love, in, uh, which is in East Africa, to also the North African side, part of the world. Why not? Okay, let's talk about uh, Uganda cranes. Do, do you see cranes participating in the coming 2021 20, hmm. in Cameroon. Hello. In Cameroon? Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> you know, Africa. it is like, it, yeah. Coming, coming Afcon? Yeah. Okay, you know, it is like, uh, I don't know what I can say. It is like uh, saying, I don't know how I can term this, but eventually it is like uh, saying that, is it possible for Goma here to, to not go for cha Champions League? 
league to qualify on at least for confederation or oh, the same the, thing the same question yeah, yeah. but probably yeah <laughs> because it is it is automatic it is automatic uganda yeah. has to be going there just like uh the the first day we qualified into chan every year we have to go there even if they bring babies to play okay the qualifiers for chan they will qualify the team to chan so probably so it is the same in africa uh in 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 uh 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 calf okay uh, and uh, Khan, you know okay on the uganda national, okay on the national mm. team uh walusimbi is now out and what, what do you think of mustafa kiza who is also a young i am upcoming player playing the same position as you mm. what, what do you think of him mm. yeah is is you know is a very wonderful player he plays the same football i really want yeah. you know in uganda as per now the the type of football which is played uh, the type of uh, football which i play we are only two people who play the same football type which is uh, which is attacking football you know okay. probably there is no any other person who does that in uh, okay i'm not i'm not blaming other people okay. you know, they are also good players but you know mustafa is such a talent that i really adore i feel like you know i feel like you know um like i don't know how i can say because he has he has mastered my style into that he wants to even to overcome me okay. the teacher you get my point <laughs> yeah so probably i'm very i'm very excited that the guy is so intelligent he plays football jointly you know if you if you are if you are, if you are to play football you have to be loving the job you're doing so he is a person is a boy is a is a kind of boy who loves his job he loves when he's playing he doesn't have any pressure he doesn't fear to make mistakes that is the type of football i'm playing you know that is the type of football which is needed you need to attack the opponent until the stomach x you know so probably that's the the type of football he plays and that is the type of football me i like you know if you are so defensive okay some people may think uh, say that he is not good in defending but how many people who pass him you know no one passes him he is the one who goes and he makes crosses he score goals he makes assists you know he does everything and he's the one who is being seen you know every team wants to acquire the one whom is not good in defending why are they every footballer who wants to become a footballer you have to know that you need to acquire your own type of play you need to follow someone you want uh to be like because him he, he know the way i play and he thinks he can do the same thing that i do so probably he mastered it that he wants even to be up you know that's the time uh, the type of football which is needed so i applaud him that he has got a good deal and he's coming for the national team and i know maybe after my my era his era also mm -hmm. because no one is going to beat him you know i speak this with authority no one is going to beat him because okay. This is the type of football Ugandans need and all the whole world now at large because a defensive football is for the past not for now you need to attack the uh, the opponent until he becomes crazy yeah. about you when he sleeps he think he dreams about you <laughs> that you are coming like yeah you know <laughs> yeah no. so i'm I, very happy for him that's it okay as we are in that because of time uh, let yeah. me just ask you yeah. the last question Playing against Kenya has always been a cracker and Uganda Cranes has been pulled for the World Cup qualifiers. How is it always playing against Harambe Stars? You know, uh, me, I've never played about, uh, against Harambe Stars. Okay. But that was then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were a strong team. They, okay. hey, we played, yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, Harambe Stars, by the way, they, they are so aggressive to Uganda. Okay. They they are all hearted out you know they play their all, all at out mm -hmm. they want to win it is you, you know it is a rivalry match but probably me um you know when we play a team like you uh, like 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 kenya it becomes maybe if not a draw uh, it is a narrow uh, uh win. win yeah but what i know what i know is one uganda is better than kenya in okay. football so yeah. <laughs> Kenya has got more professional players outside 
Uganda. You get my point? Yeah. But Uganda, they, they can also, because for us, we work as a team. We work as a to maintain our position. Because if we don't play individual football, yeah. like me in, 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 uh, in, in, in Kenya, they, everyone knows he knows. But for us, from Onyango, the goalkeeper, yeah. to Farouk Mia, the striker, we know that for us to win the game, we have to be a bond. And, you know, if you're a bond, you can explode at once, you know. But, in, you know, if you fight alone, you cannot become somebody. You need to be a bond. So the only thing which we are better than Kenya is we are a bond. But they are good players. They are not a bond. If they, if, they, if they start to be a bond, then they will become even more better than us. That's okay. the only thing I can say here. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining the fourth episode of the Safari Soccer Show. To our viewers, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Safari Soccer and turn on the bell icon. Follow us on our all social media handles at Safari Soccer, both on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. Thank you very much, Ochaya, and all the best in your football career. Thank you, Yvonne, and thank you for everyone who is going to watch this show. Um, may the Almighty God bless and Keep you safe. Thank you and thank you so much. God bless. Amen. <laughs>